We are recording. It's now live. It's what's that? It's live. It is? Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's a miracle. <laughs> That's a total miracle. Amen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amen. That is a total miracle because I literally had disconnected it. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. That okay. is totally cool. Okay. I got to mute this. Now I can see comments. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Okay. <laughs> Take that, devil. <laughs> <laughs> this is Donna Lewis, Breathe Life Ministries, and I have Carissa B. with me today for an yes. excellent interview. Yes. And Carissa B., I'm going to let you tell me everything that you do because oh. it is, like, broad and deep. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, um, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this. I'm so honored. Usually it's the opposite way. I'm the one that's kind of mm -hmm. interviewing. So I'm just a tad bit nervous, but nervousness is good. That means no, that yeah. I can completely take over. So as everybody yeah. knows, I am Carissa B. Um, yes. What we are doing in this season, I'll just mention what we're doing in this season. <laughs> what we're doing in this season is I'm a network. I'm a radio and TV network owner of TCB Entertainment. Um, I am a radio personality. I also do branding as well. Oh, um, okay. Course of mother, course yeah. of wife. Uh, and then um, I also I'm an artist as well too. So okay. um, this is some of the stuff that we do. There is a lot. Um, I, I believe God gives us gifts and talents and there's a mantle that he places, which I always use my dresser to demonstrate that and there's <laughs> different kinds of hats that we have to, that's sitting on the dresser. And yeah. sometimes he wants to put that fancy hat on and put your baseball cap back on the dresser, which is yeah. your mantle. So I believe God gives us many gifts and talents and is, is we're, we're allowed to use them. He gives us yeah. to use it for the ministry. So that's what I do right now in this season. Awesome. Now, when you say artist, there's a lot of types of artists. So what there kind is. of artist are you? A recording artist, a national oh, recording artist. Um, right now, that 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 hat is on the mantle. <laughs> <laughs> it is on the mantle. Um, I'm with me, my sisters. We're called, the group is called Not Easily Broken. Um, you've won plenty of uh, awards and stuff, but what is the greatest reward for us is being able to do praise and worship. Yeah. to worship the father to be able to go into atmospheres and set an atmosphere for worship and praise to begin to take place yeah. for god's presence to come into whatever environment and um, when yeah. i say whatever environment i'm telling you we've been to pugs we've been to outside we've been in churches we've been in halls we've been in hotels we've been everywhere and i promise you when you keep god first the center of what you do as far as your worship, your praise, or whatever you're called, because some people are songstress. Yeah. You know, so whatever you're called to do in the, the gift of um, singing, you keep right. him first, he will, the anointing is always going to shift whatever environment you're in, uh -huh. no matter what is going on. And I oh, believe yeah. that we have seen that. I lie to you not plenty of times that there was one incident I yeah. <laughs> To this day, so we went to Las Vegas. We went yeah. to Las Vegas for the week of the sellers. And I got to tell you this one, because people do not believe us when we say this, but I promise you this happened. Uh -huh. We went to Las Vegas two years ago, maybe three or four. I'll be adding my years up. They all <laughs> mixed up together. <laughs> and we um, we had the opportunity to be on a showcase. Okay. Uh, a showcase. Uh, during that weekend, a uh -huh. showcase. So we had CDs prepared. We practiced backwards and forwards and uh -huh. everything. I like you not. Our clothes were put together. Everything was just, okay, we got this. Yeah. We went into fasting, went into everything. We went to the, 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 um, the church. Yeah. We did a sound check. Uh -huh. CD was working perfectly. We even had a thumb drive with the music on air. Uh -huh. so it's like they got the thumb drive. They got the CD. They got, there's a backup. So, you know, yeah. I, when it was time for us to go up and minister, I promise you, 
this really happened. <laughs> we are standing up there, and I'm nervous because we're in an atmosphere with um, mainstream artists like Tasha Cobbs, Masam Mitchell, Ernest Pugh, Crystal Rucker. All of them were sitting in the front row. Oh. And um, uh, I was like, okay, so we, you know, I'm a little nervous. They were yeah. like, you know, because, you know, usually when we go places, like, no, you open up, you say something. So I'm like, okay, well, praise God, praise God. We are the group called Not Easy Broken, and we're going to be singing one of our songs, Depend on God. And so what happened, um, they were waiting, we were waiting for them to play the music at the top. Yeah. And so I looked and he, he, I was like, okay, I got quiet. And I was like, oh, okay, Lord, this is, this is not, this is not good. <laughs> so then we're looking and then the guy, he's at the top of the church and he's like, we can't get it to play. I was like, oh Lord. He just kept gesturing, you know. So I was like, okay, like this, thumb drive. Uh -huh. But he put it in, could not find it. Oh, could God. not find it. So we're standing there, and I said, and I'm just transparent as can be. That's yeah. probably sometimes an issue for me. I'm like, well, during sound check, the track worked, but now it doesn't. So praise God. I guess what we're going to do. Instead of doing our music, we're going to bring you on to the spirit of praise and worship. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what yeah. we have an opportunity to do is what we do best. Nothing right. wrong with our songs, but, you know, we like doing praise and worship. Right. So, said, so we're going to do praise and worship. Oh, Lord, what song are we going to sing? I said, <laughs> the mic, and everybody just started laughing. I said, okay, Lord, you said be ready at all times. So, yes. Um, okay, Lord, I tell you what. So we came we came with the song, um, Ty Trivet, Bless the Lord. But we have our own rendition of that song. Right. So um, this is an amazing thing. Even the musicians were like heavy hitters. And so I looked and I said, can you, you know, this note. I see yeah. it a lot of times. I was like, can you hit this note? And I said, do you know Bless the Lord by Ty Tribbett? He was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. This is, okay. So I, I try to stay focused. I really honestly try to say stay focused. Yeah. There's a lot going on, but I'm, I'm right. you. And my spirit man just kept reminding me, he's here with us. He's here with right. us. And we went in to worship and praise. Oh, man. And I lie to you not, after everything happened, some of the artists that were coming on after us, there was like, thank you so much for being obedient to God. Because I was so nervous. The atmosphere was yeah. so heavy. And we could not break through it. But when you got up there and did what God told you to do, he, and one person said, don't think it's, I mean, this is not ironic. It happened for a reason because the atmosphere right. was broken for his right. presence to come in. And every right. artist after that was so free to do what was who they were instead of what was on the agenda. And so I realized then, and this is not the only incident, but this yeah. was the most recent incident. I right. realized then that, okay, God had called us in a place of worship and our movement was going to be different from everybody else's movement. And even right. being in that environment, because in the gospel arena, quote unquote, you, it's a certain way. When somebody tells you sing, you sing and get sit down. But right. God is calling a movement of worship and praise. And we can't dictate the time or the sound that needs to come up. We just need to open our mouth and trust God when he says sing. Right. It comes from the belly, comes from your heart. Now, if you're right. putting stuff in, your portals that are right, yeah, things of God. Then when you speak in those awkward moments, quote unquote, right, let's say the Lord is going to come out, right, Nothing like that. But when you start putting port in your port, your eye portals, your ear port portals, in your belly, things yeah. that are not of carnal minded. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to be struggling, wrestling. Right. And I'm not saying you're not going to wrestle through the whole thing because you're nervous. Huh. But there's going to be authenticness that comes from your mouth. And right. authenticness and anointing breaks and shifts. Somebody right. that, that, even the person that's not saved, they know the anointing. It just, right. they, just it, they sit up like, okay, what was that feeling? And right. so um, I'm forever grateful for every experience we had as an artist. Like I said, the hat is on the, the mantle mm -hmm. right now. But my worship is always with me. We are oh, created. Yeah. Right. We are created. It's not right. what we are created. That is what we put on this earth to do. So right. a lot of times I tell people, they'll be like, well, when are y'all going to go back in the studio? When are y'all going to start singing again? Honey, I'm singing already. I'm a worshiper. <laughs> I'm doing it all the time. And I said, now, do you mean in front of a platform? I tell you what, I don't, you know, I don't do that right now. God's got me doing something else. But mm -hmm. anytime you're ready to worship and praise, just let me know. Now, listen, my worship and praise is not the normality. So if you're looking for something just to tickle your 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 flesh, then I'm the wrong person. 
But if right. you're looking to shift an atmosphere and go where God wants us to go and go to a higher level, then let's let's do this together. Yeah. Do it with me. I'm not just here to do a performance. I'm here to help uplift the name of God to open and shift an atmosphere for him to come in. And it's going to take more than me. We're just right. a vessel. The, right. the worshiper is just a vessel. God right. does the rest, but we need the congregation. We need the people in the environment to help us move forward. Because right. we're already, remember as a worshiper, we're already ready. Like yeah. all the times we're ready. So we can go into any environment and they were like, why, why are they acting that way? Because we're, we're worshipers. Right. It's natural for us. It's a lifestyle for us. So That's we're right. even as you're sitting there, your spirit man is already praying. Even when you're sitting there, your, your mind is always thinking of a song. Even when you're sitting there, you're always thinking, God, thank you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Because that's, that's what right. worshipers do. Right. And so it's it's, 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 it's it's normal for us. But some people, they haven't they have not arrived there yet. And right. some of them, they don't have the gift of a worshiper. So they, right. have to, they have to push into it. But everybody has that ability because we, right. we designed us for that. So that's right. I'm, I'm forever, forever grateful for every time we have an opportunity of an act of worship. What we're doing right now is the act of worship. That is a true thing. And we've got another worshiper listening right now. Yes. Sonny McBride. She's a worship leader as well. She's like going, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's like, uh, the anointing breaks the yoke. Yes. And she's like, come on. Good word. <laughs> yeah. All the time. We never, right. we never meet flesh will fail. But God never fails. If, right. you know, if it's just that one person, if it's 10 people, if it's a thousand people, God's presence can shift anything, heal, deliver, set free, cultivate, process, all these beautiful adjectives that God does for his people, even That's when we right. don't deserve it. Right. Even, even when we don't even know what's going on. We right. go after, oh, wait, he did hit me. I don't feel the pain no more. You know, sometimes right. we're healed and we don't even know that we're healed because we're so used to being in so much pain. Right. And he said that all you got to do is call on me. I am the hero. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, she's just like, if I just can reach, if I can just grab a hold of his garment. Right. And according to her faith, the action of her faith that made her whole. That's and right. He's the knowledge as my sister, my daughter. Right. Who didn't, right. Who didn't touch me? Because right. it's according to her faith. So I believe as worshipers and, um, you know, some of us are praise warriors and some of us are worship mm -hmm. warriors. It just depends on what God, what gift he's called you. And some of us are both, both of them, you know, we're That's equipped right. with both of them. Some mm -hmm. of us have the, the intercessory prayers. Some of us, there's so many, there's so many beautiful gifts in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And we're so, as people, we tend to limit ourselves. So I always like True. to, I always like to say there's a mantle a beautiful mantle that God has placed when you receive him and say, Lord, I, it's your will. I'm sacrificing all of me. He starts putting these beautiful gifts on there. And we, some of them have, we haven't even touched yet. We don't That's even know. Right. That. Oopsie. And some of them we have open. Sometimes we get to use them and sometimes we, okay, well, I got to put this down for a minute because I need yes. to go put the other hat on. This so that's true. that's why I said in this season, this is what I'm doing. That and it's is not right. to limit God. It's just that there's so much that we can do. Well, and that's a true statement. And, you know, I, I think that one of the things that you're touching on that is so important is to be um, malleable in yeah. God's hands and yeah. don't um, don't hang on to something so tight mm -hmm that he can't shift and move you yeah. um, at his will. Yeah. You know, I, I was just reminded just now of um, Paul wanting to go to this one town, mm. but the spirit of the Lord sent an angel and prohibited him from the, yeah. going there. So even though everything inside of him was crying out to go there, My Lord. the Lord wanted him going somewhere else for that time. Yeah. Mm. And... You know, we, we don't want to be Jonah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, we want to um, and enforce our way of doing things because we're going to miss an opportunity. Yeah. Or, you know, and, and the thing is, is, you know, if you're doing it in disobedience, there's no power there. None. 
Right. Um, the enemy will use it as an opportunity, mm -hmm. but right. you don't want to play into his camp, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's talk a little bit about what you're doing in this season. What are you doing right now? So right now I have the amazing pleasure and even the story of us even getting the ready on TV network, it was nothing yes. but God, nothing but God. This oh, was yeah. not something that I was not, I wasn't even searching for. I was broken. I had oh, just wow. lost my grandmother and I was broken. I was like, look, church heard, my grandmother gone. I, Lord, this, this, I, I don't, this is, I don't remember seeing this part of this. And so yeah. what happened is we went through a, um, a season of um, being in the wilderness, some right. sort. Yeah. I want to use that because even in the wilderness, God can still bless you. Yes. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times people think you're right. in the wilderness. Oh my gosh, God is not there. No, God is even there more, even more. Yeah. And so what happened is um, I cried one night. I came back. Things weren't going well with the group and, you know, just a lot of things. I lost my right. grandmother. I came back home. I fell to my knees and I said, Lord, help. And I just oh, mourned, like mourned. My, my eight-year-old was like, mama, are you all right? And I said, oh, I'm not. I need right. God to help. And right. so my husband, he didn't go with us out of town. So he picked me up oh. and he was like, it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and I said, I just want God to help us. I just want, Lord, please help us. And so once I initiated that cry for help, because a lot of times we as the body of Christ, we don't realize just a spoken word itself. Right. God knows his children. So right. sometimes we have to cry and say, Lord, help. He just right. wants to say it. He's right. like, wait, okay, come on. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I want you to say it. I want you, because he's a gentleman. So he's not going to force mm -hmm. himself. And so when I said, Lord, help, that next day I woke up and I felt a sense of peace. Right. But I was still a little scared because I was like, what am I going to do now? Yeah. A young man, well, I call him young, but he's seasoned. Uh, <laughs> he reached out to me. And I, at the time, I was trying to find my husband a gift for his uh -huh. birthday or his, it was our anniversary. I'd be mixing them up all the time. <laughs> and I, I think it was our anniversary. I'm sorry. It was okay, our anniversary. That's right. And um, I was like, because my husband's a DJ. Oh, so cool. I was like, um, okay, well, I, I really want to give him a radio station. He loves music. Oh. Like, you can listen to any song. And yeah. hear the song, the gear and everything. It's oh. kind of spooky, but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, a young man called his, i uh, never forget him. Thank you, Stefan Smith. He um, inboxed me. He's like, I know a lady that can um, help you get a radio station for your husband. So at the time I was like, okay. So uh -huh. she, I reached out to her and I said, hey, are you selling radio stations? And she was like, yeah. You know, long uh -huh. story short, I purchased a radio station. Our first radio station we purchased was called um, Life Talk, no, Life Radio Station. Uh huh. And um, I gave it to my husband and that was the first station that we had. Oh. And um, at the time I was like, this is yours. He was yeah. like, yeah what is this mine I was like yeah this is yours and he's like no this is not this is mine this is ours no so out of that radio station came life talk radio show and that's when things started tonight because I was like Lord I'm tired of being in a place where people are being overlooked where right. things you know even 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 you know you have potential but people are always like nailing you down saying that you have nothing to offer in the body of Christ right I want a platform to any first of all the radio station a place for everybody right model. and then life talk is learning to ignite your faith every day and i was just interviewing everyday people yeah yeah and so out of that that's when the ball start rolling and after a couple months three months later we got another radio station totally oh. hip-hop christian uh gospel radio station then after that a woman's radio station after that it just kept god just oh kept my gosh. the door so by the end of the year that same year we had five radio stations to our name <laughs> and we had three shows already uh -huh. and i said okay lord I, i'm enjoying this i'm i'm built my self-esteem is getting built up um yeah. you know we're moving forward and then all of a sudden i said okay how can we what can we do next so we brought uh -huh. our children along we have four uh -huh. children and then they started getting radio stations and radio shows and TV and everything else. So by, I would say probably the year of 2019, uh -huh. it's um, when things went to a whole nother level. Oh, wow. 
And I was, I was able to purchase and invest in a network, not just radio, because I was looking, but it yeah. was TV as well. Uh huh. So we jumped in. I'm not going to lie to you. I was very scared. I did not uh -huh. know what I was doing. I had, right. I was already a radio programmer, which right. I, you know, and I was already doing that, but to run a network, right. I didn't know nothing about it. Right. No one in the industry, no one's going to tell you how to run because people are afraid that you're going to take their spot. And right. it's, unfortunately, that's just the re realization of it. It shouldn't be that way, but no. that's what yeah. happens. Yeah. And so um, I was able to get a network under um, under that and took off from there. Oh, At first, we yeah. called it uh, Thomas and Carissa because I was like, Lord, you got to give us a name for it. Right. And after three months of having the radio station, clear as day, the Lord told me Throne Connections Bridging Network. I love it. But right after that, we had the ability, we had the, uh, no, me and my daughter had the opportunity yeah. to go overseas to Europe. Oh my gosh. Yes. Wow. Like, all this time, all this stuff is just going on. Like there was so much stuff going on. Right. And I, and I realized then that God had called us to a level, a place that was going to be global. Here I was just thinking where I'm at, Tennessee. Right. That yeah. is, you know, I'm about to, I'm about to, to take you across the water. Yeah. Just across the water. We, we went to go see Ireland first. Oh my gosh. What? Ireland is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. My homeland. I'm Irish. Yes. <laughs> and the people are so friendly. Oh, and, they're, wow. and I'm going to be honest, my daughter's like, why on, why on the movies? They, when they say people are from Ireland, they, they, they mention that they're short. They're not short people. Everybody <laughs> we see is tall. And I was like, <laughs> right. She says, and they're not all redheads. I was like, it's just a cliche. People, the yeah. world just kind of make their own version of what it should be. They and she, she was like, I loved it. So we sat there, we stayed the night there. Then we went to Europe oh. and, um, and God just took it a whole nother level. Wow. And, we just start, and out of that, we have, you know, um, relationships. Out of, I call them kingdom building relationships. Right. Right, um, kingdom relationships. I love and, it. Um, we we came back and we got more stations. So at this time, we <laughs> have five radio stations, then an additional five radio stations. So wow. was radio stations, and I was like, "What am I supposed to do with this, God?" Yeah. <laughs> at the time, I was still getting. I went back to school, get my master's in IT. Wow. Okay. So I was like, "Okay, this is there's so much going on. I don't know what to do." Yeah. And yeah. then I just finished writing a book with a group of ladies as well. Uh -huh. so, so much going on. And it was hard. Like when God does things, he'd be like, he, he gives us a bundle of blessings. He just something, he'd be like, here. And so yeah. I was like looking through the basket of blessings, like, oh, <laughs> uh, you know, just picking everything up. Like, oh, this is so cool. But wait, how do I use this? And, <laughs> and then eventually the basket's empty, right? Because he wants you to pull yeah. all the blessings out. Yeah. He wants you to teach you how to use them. There you go. There and you so go. that's why I was struggling at because I didn't see worth in where I was at. Right. I didn't see that my voice was important to the entertainment industry. Right. I didn't even see that my look was important. I was right. like, and nobody going to listen to me. Ain't nobody, they're not going to even like, like the way I look. I am not no Instagram model. I, mm -hmm. I am almost 43 <laughs> years old, 42, 43 years old. Um, I, I got grades and everything. Um, yeah. Lord. You're gonna have to do this. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. And so after that, what happened, and it's really a process. And I'm not saying it was easy, and I'm not saying it's easy now, but right. you have to, when God gives you it, you have to follow the instructions of God and how He tells you to do it. I love that. Land on that for a little bit. Mm. When you hear when you get something from the Lord, you have to follow his instructions. You, Go for it. Go for it. What, I, what do I mean by that? By my experience, what yeah. I mean by it is, like I said, we already had 10 radio stations and I was like, okay, so what am I, how do I, what do I do with this? Mm -hmm. and keep in mind, the industry already said, you don't belong here. Right. They already told me you don't belong here. People shun me. You, I mean, wow. it was people that I invested financially support just shun. They were like, you, this is not your area. Oh you my God. Stay in front with the mic. And so 
it hurt it because right. these are people that for years we were just kind of investing in them and they'll let the industry will let you know but god says no i need somebody that's peculiar everybody's right. doing the same thing everybody uh, and, and and i'm just gonna be transparent with you uh, I'm just gonna be keeping it real and you wear the shoe if it fits but if you right. don't you keep moving no mm -hmm. offense to nobody but everybody's doing the same thing everybody want to be right. on top everybody wants to put, put down the next person so you, they can be seen and not yeah. realize that this is not about us at all we are the gifts of help the entertaining industry is the gifts of help is the, the, the tv radio is the, the gifts you of help really important just there that the uh -huh. entertainment industry is the gift of helps yes i have never heard that before really that is very very valuable insight yeah because the gift of helps so often is looked upon like the guy you know um building a garage for someone yeah. or you know that kind of thing but you again you're landing on some really important points following god's instructions and the gift of helps that's a servant's heart it is keep going it is and that's what i was about to get to you yeah when we when i got into this all i had was my heart mm. i didn't know anything else right all i knew was to serve and worship i didn't know anything else i couldn't gain anything because i didn't right. know anything so right. as time went on of course the process the cultivating the molding you got to go through the process and it's not comfortable it's literally right. behind everything that you feel well lord is a hard thing yes it is a hard thing because i'm the hard thing but i gotta mm. show you what you're dealing with i gotta show you why you are peculiar you belong here because guess mm. what guess what it, it's it's all pretty and stuff just like when jesus came down it was all pretty and everything but he went through some stuff stuff he, he did would never know until we get to heaven and ask him Mm -hmm. It's not even quoted in the Bible. <laughs> he went through some emotions. He went through some stuff. And we have to be able to pull that away and say, okay, I got to keep my eyes focused because this is for God's people. I am a servant and I'm here to help the process. So I, I have to that. deny everything I think about. Even when they slap me, spit on me, step on me. I mean, literally, when I say that, that literally was going on. Right. Even when they, they, they try to curse your name, but God says, I am with you. I, am here right. above. I send my angels. I send the Holy Spirit to comfort you. I, there will be nothing that be formed against you. Like, you literally got to take that word. That's right. Power it and kind of speak it out. Even when right. they're going opposite. And you got to believe it. Your, your faith has to become radical because remember you are the gift of help you are that's that right person you know that they say the contact person guess yeah. what we're the contact people because what we do what you do is the in between is you're right. speaking god you get on and then people are visually seeing right a person that some people will never be able to touch or understand everything the moment until they hear what you have to say mm -hmm. <laughs> Their lives can be changed by just as you're nodding. They're like, okay. You're like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And shift in atmosphere it can break some yokes. You see what I'm saying? Oh, can, you know, you're you're absolutely right. I mean, because when you come into agreement, there you go. The word, there you go. Where two or more are gathered in his yes. name. And we've got some comments here for you. Okay. Uh, you from Linda P. Jones. Um, entertainment mystery is the ministry is the gift of helps. Wow. Yes. And she's saying here, it is seen as the gift of building a stage for themselves. So often you, she's right. She's touching on something where mm -hmm. they're rather than looking at serving. Yeah. They're looking to be served. Mm, come on. And, oh. and when you put it into the context of the gift of helps right you're now getting down and washing people's feet <laughs> Woo! Right? Oh, yes yes amen Woo! and that's where um that's where you, you know you're on tcb entertainment on your screen uh -huh. your home screen when you go to your web page, you say kingdom building on another level, or yeah. I, I think I butchered it, but <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I'm loving this. You are totally taking a kingdom perspective mm. to what we do when we get on a platform and hold a mic. Yeah. When we're either speaking or mm. singing or, mm. you know, um, doing some other kind of uh, platform ministry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, you know, it is an act of worship and yeah. service. Yeah. Period. No doubt. And then to take authority over mm -hmm. those demonic forces yeah. that would try to deter, to mm. distract, mm. to discourage. Yeah. yeah. You're saying just bulldoze right over that in Jesus' name. Amen. and continue hearing yeah and obeying what you're yeah. hearing that's true keep going keep going that's true I, I i i believe that and that is so true you you killed it you nailed it <laughs> you nailed it because honestly we when we started um investing time and i'm um, saying this and you've got to invest time is about relationships like you said it's not even about you no more it's about relationships and how do you bring somebody and give them the, the, the gifts or the talents or the resources, their basket of resources to be effective kingdom builders? You got to spend time with them. That's right. Just like how we spend time with God, we got to spend time with them. You got to know where the need is at. You have to be able to know where the need is. And if you can't get the need, you got to say, okay, Lord, you put me here just to kind of plan it. Now I got to send it off to get water. You yeah, so, and it's yeah. okay. It's okay that somebody's just gonna come in your life for a quick second to get planted, and the next person is going to water it. And you got to know right. that hey, you are still effective in what you are doing in the entertainment industry. And what do we do? We help artists get their music on platforms across the world, I and, love it. and we educate them. Now, this is the difference. This is the difference of what we do, and I'm not knocking nobody else. I'm just being honest with with what we do. That's we, right. artists, we we tend to, and that's where I gotta I gotta be cautious and learn how to balance it. We tend to I tend to mother it. I don't know if that makes any sense. No, no. Yeah, I think that because a mother does nurturing, right? Right. right. And protecting. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and and disciplining sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And, and building up sometimes. That's right. All these beautiful things to help us build ourselves, and we educate them. That's if it. they want to be educated because some kids are stubborn. They have to learn the hard <laughs> way. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so you'd be like, okay, I'm going to play your music, okay, but I know you're going to come back eventually and I'm going to have to tell you the same thing I said the first time. Right. So, I know it sounds so far fetched. It it's not. true. It's true. And sometimes that happens. And then there's some music nobody's ever heard because they've never had the opportunity to be on a platform because they look different or they sound different or what well, you don't fit into what we feel needs to be. But God says, everybody has a place. There's a place for everybody. Your gift matters. Your gift matters. We, if you bring it all together, what is it going to do? It's going to shift the atmosphere. It's going to move things. It's going to move mountains. It's going to move, oh my gosh, obstacles. Guess what? The artist can pour into me as a servant as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Vice versa. So it's about relationships. That's right. And as you develop the relationship, and like I said, all relationships don't have to be long term. They no, can be just there for the the planning, the watering, the cultivating, the rebuking. Keep in yeah. mind, you have to have the rebuking part. Oh, you do. And you got to build them back up after. Then you send them on their merry way. To the next <laughs> level. <laughs> all these beautiful things that can be done in the entertainment industry. Who right. says it cannot be done? Oh my gosh! Yeah. You are so right. And I love, maybe it's just because, you know, I spent many years as a, um, as a music teacher, but when you were talking about the educate them, I'm like, I was like in my, in my inside, I was just getting all tingly and <laughs> because I, I love that. I love, um, a true mentor's heart. Yeah. That's the heart of Jesus right there. Most definitely. Most. Oh, and, and so often we don't take those mm. opportunities. Mm. You know, you touched when you said a mother's heart too, because yes. 
Um, and that's a great segue too to go into what's happening this Sunday. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. but you landed on what the Lord put on my heart, and that is to there you have many teachers, but not many fathers. And mm. we for us we can say mothers. Right. And to be a mother, how many, how many children in the Lord are out there without any mothers? Right. 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 I tell you, when God, you know, we're about to do this program called Beyond the Brokenness. Mm -hmm. um, this has been going on for about nine or 10 years, mm -hmm. but now it's become virtual. Forgive me for the language. It's just the way I talk. It's virtual. Okay. <laughs> and, um, I tell you what, I've been having the most fun ever. Used to be oh. having a church building or a building, but uh -huh. to be able to talk to people from across the world on right. media, yeah, I've been learning so much, and oh. I'm loving it. I'm like, I might just keep this this way because yeah. reaching more people this way. But the mother's edition is a mother's love, mm. and I looked at my children one day. And I was like, wow, Lord. And sometimes I'm my hardest critic. I was like, man, I need to do mother more as a mother. Maybe I'm not loving them enough. Maybe that's why they're going through this. Or why can't I hit? And the Lord is like, I, he reminds me, this is, this, these, these are temporary for you. Right. Train them up the way they should go. And, and when they leave, they would never depart from me. Yeah, you go. And I always have to remind them. I say, you know what? You really don't belong to me. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I have the weight and everything to, to, to remind me the scars and everything to remind me that I went through something, but you don't belong to me. You're a gift. You're God. So right. once I've done everything that he wants me to do, I have right. to relinquish you to right. move to the next level. Right. And I will be there. It's just like God. He'll be there the whole time. Yeah. Even, when we don't, even when we don't feel like he's there, he's there. That's mm -hmm. what mother love is too. You can be across the world. You know, my daughter's going to be going overseas soon. She mm -hmm. can be across the world. And guess what? I'm just a phone call away. That's or right. A memory that she had before she left. She can be like, man, I remember this. It's yeah. still a moment. Yeah. It's still a moment. And yeah. so I believe this weekend is going to be amazing because we're going to hear the voices of mothers servants, apostles, prophets, worshipers from across the world. I and they're going to be igniting some things and some of the, I would like to say the singles and, and some of the married women that have been kind of dormant because they're like, maybe I'm done. And God yeah. is saying that you're not done. The time no. is now. We that's need to right. war like a lion because we, we need you in this movement that's going on. COVID is still going on. Yes, God is still healing the land. Yes, but yes. He's calling for a nation to shout the high, to shout to the highest mountain. Yes. to say mountain be removed and That's encourage right. the people to come. Encourage women from across the world to say you are a mother to the motherless. That's the right. That you are a mother to nations. That, oh it's man, okay. it's okay. You have a extended family. We yes. tend, sometimes tend to put families just blood. No, family is the world. And wow. you are mothering the world because guess what? We have an amazing God that mothered us and many That's others. Right. We are sisters and brothers in Christ. So therefore we need to mother. And I always tell my kids that, you know what? Like I said, you, you're just temporary. I know that, yeah. but I have other kids as well. Mm -hmm. And there will be times when God wants me to pour into the other people as well. And this is, I believe this Mother's Day is going to be amazing. We're going to have some giveaways. We're mm -hmm. going to have some music. We're going to have some word encouragement. And I believe somebody's, somebody's going to be ignited. Yes. Yeah. Somebody's been, and, 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 and yes, it says beyond the brokenness. We don't yeah. look like what we've been through and we might be going through something right now, but it's okay. Yeah. Because yeah. we have the king, the Messiah, Jehovah, Jireh, El Shaddai. He's with us all the time. And guess what? We're here to encourage one another. There we go. And, and that's what this is about. The mother's love is, is unconditional. Like God's love is unconditional. He is, on, like I said, he's a mother to the motherless. Yes. So if, if we are from him, that means we have the same ability. He's given it to us when Jesus died on the cross, rose again with all power in his hand. He's like, okay, I've given it to you. Now it's time for you to, to ignite it and go get somebody else and pull somebody else uh, many right. people as i call you to do and yeah, so that's right. what this is that's what this program is about i am excited you have speaking about it because i really don't get to talk that much because yeah. when you're radio you try to preserve yeah you know, so when you have those moments 
Mm -hmm. um, I have the gift of gabbing, which that's okay. <laughs> um, but a lot of times I don't get to speak. Usually I'm like interviewing, so I don't get to really speak what's going on in my head. Yeah. When I'm talking about it, it's like this, I'm excited. There's something yes. going on inside of me. And I said, okay, Lord, okay. And as I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, Lord, this is this is bigger than what I thought. Yeah. But you took something and I was just obedient. And you're like, okay, now I need you to go over here with this. We have the singles edition. We have the Mother's Day edition. Now we're about to have the Father's Day edition. Oh, I love it. That's great. And so God is just kind of expanding it and allowing people to speak with so my mind because sometimes it's healing deliverance and just speaking sometimes right. we have so much stuff going on in our head and we just need to we as the body of christ just need to listen right so they can be so they can become healed so yeah. they can unite something in them so they can move forward that's so that's right. what the pl platform's about i'm excited about it i love it and i love you know what i really loved when you taught when you shared with me about it is that um you know, there's Mother's Day, it, it, it um, you know, I, it can be, it, it's a, it's meant to be such a, a joyful and beautiful mm -hmm. day of honoring mothers. And right. for many, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. But then we have the hurts and the traumas mm -hmm. of life that come in yeah. and there are, you know, and, and I think that as a society, we tend to be very, we do tend to be very uh, compassionate um, mm -hmm. and sensitive towards mothers who lose their children yeah. uh, to death. Yeah. But it becomes a point of pain for mothers and fathers yeah. when they lose their children to something other than death. Mm, yes maybe they've given a child up for adoption mm, yeah they've done an honorable and beautiful thing right. but they may feel as though they're not allowed mm. to talk about it wow or you may have a mother who lost children to divorce right right come on yeah because we've had you know there's you know there's there's such high conflicts and nobody gets divorced for no reason. Right, right, like right. They're right. getting along, they don't get divorced. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and um, oftentimes children are disillusioned from their parents because of the conflict that goes on between mm. them. Yeah. And there can be so much shame and deep pain that goes with mm. that. Right. And they don't even want to talk about it. And... Um, you know, then you have children who maybe be separated from their parents because of prison, yeah, because of breaking the law, yeah, um, and other things. And then that takes what should be a very joyful mm. and day of honor and beauty, yeah. and turns it into a day of anguish. Mm. That's true. And so to have a day where those things are, I guess, those points of pain are honored. Mm. And, 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 and it's said to that person, you know, I get where you're at today. Mm. Yeah. And, and I want you to experience love today. Yeah. And that you do, because um, I went through that type of pain yeah and and for many years i just had to bypass mother's day altogether mm. i had to go do something different yeah. yeah you know just get away from the yeah. environment yeah. and um god's working god's working in that area of my life and um I, what i didn't really you know and i felt like i was in the minority right yeah but when you brought it up in, during our interview, or when you interviewed me, and I was like, going, wow, you know, this is awesome. Right. This is awesome that we're going to acknowledge these moms. Mm -hmm. We're going to devote the day to Thanks. these moms. Right. And we're going to give them power and love yeah. and affirmation. Yes. And we're going to speak into their life. Yeah. I love that. How now? What inspired you yourself? Well, brokenness. Yeah, brokenness. Um, 
we'll be here four or five days talking about my bad, but, uh, but it's a good, I mean, it's good because God was there the whole time, but brokenness, like I said, about 10 years ago, I was in a group called Not Easily Broken. Um, I was already doing events. I was doing um, modeling shows and everything like mm-hmm. that. And I came to a, per- a point in my life with church hurt. Church hurt um, brought this. I was hurt. Yeah. I, left a ch- I left the church. I didn't leave God. I left the church. Right. Right. <laughs> and, um, right. And yeah, I was a place, I was like, you know, I, I don't want to go to another church. I really don't want to go to another church. But Lord, if this is your will, I, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And so we got hurt again. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm just supposed to be a planner. Maybe <laughs> I'm just supposed to help establish the church and then leave after. Yeah. And what happened is in the midst of all that, one of the churches we went to, and I'm forever grateful to them, they allowed us to take this um, beyond the brokenness because it used to be, be behind the brokenness. Ooh, behind the brokenness when we when I initially started it because it was time for me to start talking about things that were going on in my life Whoa, that even dude. though I look I look all dazzled up outside but inside inside I was a uh, broken um vase put together right my god yeah and I needed to let people know that hey you know there's people there's women there's men women children everybody deals with brokenness right deals with brokenness but that doesn't mean that God can't use you you in your brokenness right Right. and so that's how that got established we started in a building we started with 25 to 30 people the first year Mm -hmm. the following year went up to 150 what we did is brought women in from across the area they Uh came in and everything that we did was for free they didn't pay for not nothing we fed them oh my bags of perfume uh necklaces goodies i mean yeah give uh giveaways we gave them giveaways it. um we we even had cupcakes you know <laughs> well, it's not like a cupcake it just depends on what kind of flavor um, <laughs> you know we had the salads for the ones that were on the health you know mm-hmm. journey then the ones that was like i'm just gonna eat today <laughs> and, the fried chicken, you know? and then we had the um the gifts of the fine arts we had the we had worship dancing we had um art spoken words singing mm-hmm. and then we had testimonies Mm. Some women were dealing with abuse, mm-hmm. rape, like mm-hmm. you said, abandonment, mm-hmm. loss of children, and they never got to speak about it. Right. I really right. realized right. it was the, the end of that process of healing. Right. And they needed to say it to somebody else because somebody else in the room was dealing with it. Right. And we came up with these creative ways. Like one year, we had all different types of heels. The heels were in the, in the represent, and what happened? We gave some of the heels away. I love it. I love and, it. And um, then the next year, one year, we had it to where it was harvest. Right. Now it was time for harvest. Right. It was the harvest time, and so right. we had like harvest theme everywhere. Mm. And so it just depends on what God was saying at the moment right. that we needed to talk about. And I would pull women in that we knew. Thank God, I was in the entertainment industry, so I was allowed to. I didn't understand it at the time, but I was able to pull from people and say, hey, can you come out and minister? And mm-hmm. the, these women mm-hmm. of God, they did it for free. Wow. You know, like, we just want to, we just, I, we see what you're doing. We just want to help. And mm-hmm. at the time, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't have a job. I was like, well, where am I going to get all this money from? Mm-hmm. God provide. My husband, oh, my husband is such a caring person. He was mm-hmm. like, whatever you need to do. And then I had a team that helped as well. We were all into mm-hmm. event planning. So we just kind of mm-hmm. became creative. Right, book, right. It was only $200. Wow. <laughs> and, and we put it together. And then what <laughs> happened is they knew somebody that knew somebody and they were able to pull in stuff. You know what? I cooked this dish. You know what? We can go here. So <laughs> it. a beautiful event. And all I had to do was be obedient to the, the, right. the moment of saying, okay, now I need you to do it. And don't, wow. don't question it. Sometimes we question like, Lord, I only got $25 in my name. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> but this time I didn't question. You know why I didn't question it? Because I seen what it did for my sisters. I never, this is my first time ever talking about some of the testimonies. Wow. My sisters got to speak at the events, but by the, the, the events were so long, by the time I was like, you know what? We ain't got to worry about what's going on with me. I'm just glad that everybody else is getting healed. But this is the first time I've ever got to really speak about what's going wow. on. Oh. And, and out of that, you know, if you hear my sister's testimonies, you'd be like, what? Uh-huh. But it's just a platform to give people the, give them their voice. Right. Right. In your voice, give them the authority, give them the authority that God has given us. 
Right. So we already know. Yeah, we already know. we've already experienced, but some people they don't they don't have that opportunity. They some don't. of them are still going through domestic violence now because the man said or the woman said, shut up, don't say nothing. Even yeah. with a rape victim, they were like, You tell, I'm gonna come back. Right. So with us being in an environment like that, they might not, all they might not do is raise their hand up. And that's right. still an act of communication. Right. You help me. You're right. still communicating. Yeah. And I can move on a miss. And then as they raise their hand, the next time they're like, okay, I'm going to go to the cops now. Yes. I trust, you see what I'm saying? It's just yeah. igniting something wherever you are in your journey to do whatever's next. Yeah. And I'm very, I'm trying to do it very broad because we just don't know who we're going to touch. Right. All we gonna all we know is that God is gonna be have the victory in all of it. That's right. And that's that's how that's how it got started. And it's just kind of God shifted. Matter of fact, this year, God um told me to change the name to Beyond the Brokenness. I because love that. You were past what you've already dealt with. That's now right. it's, going, it's time to go beyond that. That's so that's amazing. why it's beyond the brokenness now. This year, 2021. That. I love, I, I absolutely love that name because even if, you know, even if you're still in that midst of brokenness, yes. God's taking you beyond yeah. it. Yes. God, you know, you're seated with him in the heavenlies. So mm. you are beyond it. Yes. You just have to experience it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I love the name of that event. It's just yeah. beautiful. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I'm ready. Like I was telling my daughter, I said, I'm ready to expand it. This is just not about me. Mm -hmm. there's, there's communities that I can't reach that the people that I'm in, um, God is allowing to embrace the movement. They can mm -hmm. take it and run with it. I yeah. believe this is going to be a nationwide thing. I think there's going to be a committee. I think it's going to be a group of women, group uh -huh. of men that come together every year and say, okay, what can we do in our community? What right. can we do online? What can we do? I build, I believe that's why it's strong connections, bridging. We're yes. connecting, connecting yes. home, kingdom purpose things. We're connecting everything together. So yes. that that's our ministry part, what we do. Um, we build relationships mm -hmm. connect people together in movement kingdom movement i love it it's absolutely dynamic so when um how can people be uh, be part of this beyond the brokenness on sunday so it's going to be on what we're doing what we always like to do is give people opportunity to cross the world it's going to be on facebook okay on, um on my page uh, i know i'm going to mess it up christ like uh -huh. i'm going to have the link up um, okay. I have to talk to production. I'm working with a production team now. Okay. I've never done this. I've never done this before. Um, <laughs> and so they're telling us the do's and don'ts, but it's going to be on Facebook first. Okay. And then what we're going to do is move it to our TV. So you can okay. always watch it. We're going to put it on YouTube. We're trying to get it on every platform as possible. Because some people, let's just be honest, some people don't like going on Facebook. Right. Some people don't like going on YouTube. Some right. people go to a web page and watch it from web page. Some people don't like web pages and like to listen to it on the radio. So right. we want to make this available for every platform. So we're okay. going to start on Facebook. It's going to be at 11 a.m. my time which is central okay. state time um we're going to be having it on facebook and you're welcome to share it um my page my page is public so everybody can share it from there okay and then we're going to move it to the youtube to where everybody okay. will see it from there so this is uh, like i said this is bigger than what i expected so you know i'm just kind of doing whatever god tells me to put yeah. it on so that's what we're going to do awesome 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 so this sunday may 9th that's right this sunday um, and it's going to be noon Eastern, 11 Central. Yes. Okay, perfect. And the links for that will be up on Facebook. You can, and they can find it at your page on Christlike. Yes. And I, I shared it on the Beyond the Brokenness page. We do have one. I'm oh, not as okay. active as I would like to be. I'm hoping that God will enlarge our territory. We'll have a team that can work it as well. I just okay. believe this is bigger then what I'm doing now, I know I can't do it all. So I'm just waiting for God to send right. the vessels so we can right. expand it to where it wants to be. So it'll be on there as well. It's okay. going to be on there as well. So if you can't get connected on my page, you can definitely get connected on the Beyond the Brokenness page. Beyond the Brokenness. So yes. um, Facebook at Beyond the Brokenness. Yes. Um, both. I'm going to have it all over. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. Okay. Social media, sometimes the algorithm and everything, they be doing their own thing. So, just gotta be <laughs> but God's bigger. We discussed yes. that today. Yes. Right? It's going to get to whoever it needs to get to in the name of Jesus. That's right. 
Well, um, before we wrap this up, Carissa, what yes. is one last thought you would like to leave? Wow. Wow. This feels so weird on the other side, but yeah. I like that. <laughs> that's usually the question I'll be throwing out and they'll be like, oh, that's a good question. So I'm going to say, oh, that's a good question. Um, I, honestly, I would like to say that you matter. Mm. Have value. You belong here. You are peculiar, you're unique, you're creative, you're awesome, you're great. Mm. great. And guess what? We need you in this movement. Yeah. So whoever's listening, whoever is bypassing and go, whoa, what did she just say? Yes. I'm telling you that Carissa B, Ms. Don Donna, we need you in this movement. Yes. You cannot do this alone, but more than anything, God loves you. Mm. And you are his greatest value. You That's matter to him. You are a diamond, you're a ruby. Whew. And yeah. it's time to open up your mouth and do what God is telling you to do. And it doesn't matter what age you are. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where you came from. God mm -hmm. can use anything. God is going to use you in this season. Amen. Oh, that's, that is perfect. That mm -hmm. is perfect. Absolutely. So for those of you who just tuned in, this is Carissa B. Yes, ma'am. She is the owner and operator of TCB Entertainment. Yes. And she has, uh, she is a wealth of, of just, well, she's exactly what breathe life is about. She breathes life. Amen. The kingdom of God. Praise God. And uh, it has been a delight. I it's enjoyed been it. An absolute delight having you on, Carissa. Amen. Amen. And uh, with that, folks, we love you. Yes. And uh, we will see you again. Thank you for tuning in. Please yes. like this video share this video. If you're watching on the recast, do comment because we will respond and uh, just be blessed. Amen. And, and as Chris has said, you matter. Amen. God bless everyone. God bless.